already see that I'm a ruler in this kingdom. I think if I can control how they feel, I can control how they think. And if I can whoop these all stars, does that mean I'm the best ever? I'm Russell Hance, and this is the Russell Hance Show. What's happening, guys? It's your boy, Russell Hance, on The Russell Hance Show. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. I know you watched my previous video. Hopefully you have. I'm trying to make Survivor great again. I promised you I'd come back, talk about other things that can make Survivor like it used to be. It used to be a good show. People loved it. Now, ratings are dropping off. I'm afraid that it's going to get canceled sooner than later, so... Let's try to figure it out together, but these are a few things that I think that we need to make it better. So, uh, not better, just make it great again, basically. Uh, so, I talked about uh, the food rewards. Got a lot of good comments. Everyone loved it. We miss it. We miss the food rewards. We miss the, uh, the auction. Uh, bring that back, Jeff. Bring that back. Because a lot of people was like, well, the reason he didn't bring the auction back... Uh, was because people would wait for the reward, some kind of reward. They would bid on that. They'd save all their money. I said you should put $2,500 out there to fix the the reward or the uh, advantage, whatever you get. If you bid on it, uh, do it early in the auction or don't do it at all, you know? Uh, it's People enjoy the auction enough to where you don't have to even put a reward in there. You can say it before it starts. There will be no reward during this auction. We'd like to see people bid on things. Maybe they get a, a bowl full of snails or, or, you know, a hamburger. So that's what we enjoy. We like that part of it. The, the, the advantage for the challenge or whatever, uh, you know, an idol or whatever, that's neither here nor there. Matter of fact, that brings me to the point of that exact thing there's too many advantages we need to break it down a little bit too many rewards do you need to do this you need to do that we can barely understand what's going on on the show i'm a strategic player and i had to pause the television to try to figure out what the hell this advantage does or this this does or this uh, you know just a bunch of the re you rewind and stuff now you making it more like a, a big brother type thing than Survivor, and that's not good. A lot of people hate Big Brother that like Survivor. I know a lot enjoy both of them, but keep them separate. Keep them two separate games, and they're not doing that. Uh, they're starting to intertwine with each other, and everything's becoming the same, and people don't want that. So I think they're doing a little bit too much with rewards. Uh, I mean, with advantages this or that and just a bunch of different stuff and some of them aren't even fair you know it's uh the game is becoming a game of luck and chance not a game of skill and i think that's the problem i think that that's a main problem not the only problem that survivors have and we want a, a game of skill not pure luck and pure chance and that's all it's becoming a game to where you get lucky if you come across something that you stumble, by the way, stumble upon. Uh, you know, they make it so easy to find these advantages, too. So, let's change that. Let's make it to where maybe there's only two. Now, I like idols, obviously. And I'm a, I apologize, you guys, for ruining the show with idols that, you know, now everybody looks for idols. Everybody's trying to... Uh, go in the woods and find them without clues. I wonder how that happened, who made that happen. But yeah, uh, yeah, there's that. I think that we need to only have two idols like they used to when I played. I know back in the ba back, back days, they didn't have idols at all. And some people wanted to go that far back to whether you don't even have idols. But I like idols, so I think they need to have idols. But place them on two different islands, two tribes only. You start, you get to know each other 39 days and make it a little difficult to find. Maybe find a clue to find the idol, to find another clue, to find another clue until you find the idol. I don't know. You can come up with something a little more difficult. 
uh, and then it's just as exciting. So I think that they need to bring back the basics of Survivor and start doing things like that where two tribes only. We like to get to know the tribe. We want to do all that, not just, you know, you go out there and immediately everybody starts looking for idols. You don't get to know anybody. You don't get, nobody becomes friends. We don't get to see them fish. We don't get to see them cook. We don't see, you know, we don't see, get to see them hunt in the woods for just random things to eat. We don't get to see any of that. If you have a season where everybody's starving on the season, and that's what your big deal was this time, hardest season ever. And we didn't even see it being that hard. You know, we didn't get to see them chase after food. So I think that just bringing back the... Jeff, I don't know if you realize this, but you did seasons without rice and beans for 39 days. Not just, you know, uh, 27 days, whatever that was. So just bring it back. It's a longer season, and you don't get rice and beans. People like to see the people suffer. Then when you have a longer season, then you have stuff like you can see them cuddling up and frozen and, you know, just suffering. For some weird reason, uh, the public likes to see people suffer. When it's a shorter time frame, and we don't even see them really suffer, all they're doing is finding clues and finding advantages and doing this and that, and it's just a... Just a big mess really so um the last thing i want to talk about is another pretty simple thing they can do to bring back the excitement of survivor and that's bring back the old school music remember how exciting that was when you seen each player and they was playing that music you, and they had clips of the player doing challenges and this and that and uh it was you get pumped up anybody passionate about that game got pumped up when they heard that music so Bring back the music, old school music. Eliminate some of the uh, the rewards and all that stuff. Just make it a lot more simple. Uh, bring back food stuff. Let them win uh, challenges and go to picnics and go to whatever. We had Outback Steakhouse. Not sponsored, but if you want to sponsor me, that's fine. Uh, so we had them... And they set up a whole thing. It's not that hard to find a sponsor for a show that's getting seven million. You know, they're not getting that now. That I, they got right around four or something their last episode. But I think we can get back to that. The seven, eight, nine million point. And then you you can get these sponsors that that bring food out there. Just picnics, man. Super simple, cheap. People like that. They enjoy that. I know you, you that Jeff is trying to go. More and more and more and more, but sometimes less is more. And when Survivor started from the beginning a long time ago, in 2000, it, people loved it. And then it, it got better and better. Then, of course, you started losing ratings as you went along, but it still stayed exciting with approximately 10 to 9 million views for a long, long time. So I just, I'm trying to do this to where it makes sense. And if you want to comment below, tell me something else. Um, I'm going to do another video and keep coming up with different things they need to do to make Survivor great again. Uh, that's my point, to make it great. Hopefully this next season that's coming up is good. I like the cast. The cat, cast looks good. So uh, hopefully it's better than the last uh, dump that we just watched. And we can start enjoying Survivor again. So that's my hope. And I always keep hope alive. So, guys, until next time, that's all I got for you. Have a good day.